I set myself the goal to find the cheapest 3-axis smartphone gimbal available. On this channel, we oftentimes talk about the most expensive and latest and greatest stuff, but what if you just want something that works and doesn't cost a fortune? I searched the internet and found a $47 3-axis smartphone gimbal. Let's see if it's any good. Let's get started. And what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In case you're new here, welcome. Super excited to have you. My name is Jewel and I'm the creator of Smartphone Filmmaking Pro and Smartphone Agency. So I set myself the goal to find the cheapest available three axis smartphone gimbal that isn't crap. And basically finding one hasn't been that easy. I've been searching through Amazon and basically through the entire interwebs. And this is what I found. And this was one of the first ever smartphone gimbals that I reviewed on this channel, like over three years ago and when I found out that this is currently the cheapest smartphone gimbal that has three axes and that is very important I was very surprised and I thought to myself like why not try this out in 2024 and see like what you get for just $47 and how good is that gimbal the Hoem iSteady X in 2024 and if you are currently in the market for a smartphone gimbal and you're searching through Amazon for example and you find some cheaper options then definitely make sure and be very cautious that you're not getting a one or two axis smartphone gimbal because you know with a three axis smartphone gimbal basically you get stabilization in all of the different axes the only thing that this is not stabilizing is the up and down movement because it just cannot do that physically but with one axis gimbal you're always missing one of the other axes and that will most of the time or not not most of the time that will always lead to worse results compared to what you get with three axis smartphone gimbals so if you go to amazon or to the website of Hoem, and by the way, they are not sponsoring this video. They have absolutely no idea that I'm even making this video so I can say whatever that I want. So if you go and, and order this gimbal right now, inside of the box, you get a, a tiny, nice looking box. You get obviously the smartphone gimbal itself. You get this tiny table tripod here at the bottom. You get a cable to charge the gimbal and you also get a tiny pouch that you can use to just carry that around. So nothing special, but to be honest, also if you compare that to gimbals that are $200, you basically get the exact same package content so I think that is still very good when it comes to the first impressions and the build quality like obviously this is just $47 this is not the best smartphone gimbal and especially for my hands like it is a bit tiny I cannot grip it like super well but also if I use the table tripod that comes with it and I just use it like this which is basically always how I use my three axis gimbals like I can still hold it very nice I can also use it with two hands and I accidentally touched a button and this is also something that is very cool like with this smartphone gimbal with just a simple tap you can switch from vertical to horizontal shooting and that's something that is very cool like you even cannot do that with I don't know with, with their biggest one with the Hoem iSteady M6 for example you cannot do that or with the Scion Smooth 5S I think with the newest one you can also not do that so that you get this feature which is obviously a very important feature and this small tiny package um, yeah this is definitely something that is very cool something that is not like super cool is like how this gimbal is built because especially if you're filming vertically and you're using the ultra wide angle lens it does happen from time to time that you can see the own gimbal in the shot and this is basically like how this is set up and there are other gimbals out there that do this better but if you take care and, and if you're using it you know somehow like this then you also manage to get around that and to you know to not have that problem in the final shots when it comes to balancing the gimbal like you don't have lots of options you can basically just slide the phone upwards and downwards and you can also slide it to the right and to the left and generally speaking with any smartphone gimbal the goal is always to bring the smartphone into a position so that it's not falling over so you can see now it's leaning over to the left so I'm just gonna bring that over just a little bit something like this like this pretty good then you just turn it on and then you're basically ready to go and you know everything is working super fast one thing that is also very cool like if you want to get some low mode shots like some very low angle shots that are very cool like you can just flip that up upside down so all of the cool features that you get with modern and way more expensive smartphone gimbals are also included in this tiny very lightweight and very easy to use package but now let's talk about the most important thing and that is like how do the final results look like because now we have been praising this $47 gimbal and everything is fine but all of that doesn't matter at all if the final results just look crappy and you probably have seen them throughout this video already and you're gonna see them 
them right now. Like I was very, very surprised with the final results that I was getting from this $47 gimbal. Like obviously it's not on the exact same level as their bigger brother, the HOMI Steady M6. This is obviously better, but if you know how to get beautiful shots and if you know how to do the ninja walk to get rid of the up and down movement and all that kind of stuff, then you can still get some absolutely and ridiculously smooth shots with that tiny, small and very affordable package. So I was very surprised with that. Another thing where I also was very surprised with this gimbal is that, you know, the setup that I have right here, this is the iPhone 15 Pro. And we do also happen to have the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra here in the studio. And I was expecting that it will probably work with the 15 Pro, but it's not gonna work with the Pro Max and the S23 Ultra. But we decided to, why not try it out anyways? Because worst thing that might happen is that the gimbal turns off because it's too heavy. But to my surprise, it has been handling the iPhone 15 Pro Max like an absolute champ. It has had no problems at all. And this is very, very surprising, especially for a tiny gimbal like this. Like even the newest gimbal from DJI, the DJI OM6, sometimes struggles with the iPhone 15 Pro Max and has been struggling with the 14 Pro Max if you don't place like the clamp perfectly fine. So the fact that this small gimbal has no problem with that was just very cool for me personally. Another thing that I also think is very cool with this gimbal, I'm just gonna turn it off for that right now. Like already by default, this entire thing is very tiny, but you can also um, unscrew this mount or the screw right here and you can clamp that in and yeah, then you can also unscrew the table tripod. And then basically you have like a very tiny setup, like comparing that to the iPhone 15 Pro, like you can almost put that into your pocket. So yeah, just a very small package. And now I want to talk about a little bit about my conclusion. And generally speaking, like as you have noticed throughout this entire video, I have been very, very pleasantly surprised with that gimbal. And HOEM has done an amazing job in like, I don't know, 2019 or so when they released that gimbal, because it's still very good in 2020. And I have been lucky enough to meet the founder and the entire marketing team of HOEM. And they are very genuine people, very nice people. They're working really hard to get the products right. And this definitely pays off. And this is, you know, this is the result of having a four or five year old gimbal that is still performing very well in 2024. So in conclusion, if you are just starting out, if you are in a budget and you don't need all of the fancy AI features and you don't want to use a case when using the gimbal and you don't plan on using Adam, on lenses and filters and all that kind of stuff, then to be honest, I did not expect to say that, but I can very much recommend that you just go for this five-year-old $47 smartphone gimbal. Obviously, if you want to get some of the cooler features, like also having a light built in and the AI tracking with just a hand gesture and so on, then there are plenty other options out there that are way better, obviously, in that, but they are also way more expensive. So like I said before, if you are in a budget, definitely go for this. And if you you want the next better thing, then I would recommend to go with the HOEM iSteady M6. This is my current go-to gimbal that I'm basically using for anything that I want and, you know, for any jobs that we have and so on. My go-to is always just the HOEM iSteady M6. And talking about jobs, this is something that you probably don't know. If you know how to take some great photos and great videos with your smartphone, you can actually turn those skills into a profitable side hustle and into cash. And if you don't know how that works, and if you're not quite sure if you have what it takes, We've created a completely free quiz for you where you will get to answer 12 questions and afterwards you will get a personalized report to see exactly where you still need some improvement and if you're ready to turn your content creation skills into money. I will link you that down below. It will be the first link below that like button. In case you have not subscribed already, make sure to do so. And other than that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.